amazing. It's a real tank in LEGO Fortnite. It can overcome obstacles, rotate the turret, and it can even shoot explosive projectiles. Now it's gonna destroy this house. How do you build it? Watch to the end to find out all the secrets. Build the base of the tank from active platforms and foundation. Any material can be used for the base. I chose a wooden foundation, as it is more affordable for those who will build in survival mode. I will be grateful for your likes and subscriptions. And if you have any questions about the construction, you can ask them under the video. Now we make the turret attachment. I use a square foundation with the size of 4x4 four four blocks. There should be a distance of 6 blocks between the square foundations, so that the wheel can fit there. Sometimes a bug happens and the game won't let you place the blocks in the right place. To fix it, you can reroute and reinsert an existing block. This plate will be separated from the base and will become the base of the turret. The wheel is placed in the middle of the slab. It will allow the turret to rotate and still stay in place. Now the turret is separated from the base and is an independent structure. Now install the projectile guides. We make them exactly from this fence as it protrudes half a block on one side. Put the fences at a distance of six blocks from each other. Move on to the creation and installation of the projectile. At this stage of construction, it is not necessary to install it. Now I just show the scheme of its construction. Install the fences. They will play the role of windows. I recommend choosing these ones because they are suitable in height and through them you can see well. We put two foundation slabs on the fences. Back of the turret. Top of the turret. It can be left out for now. Now we make the muzzle of our tank. It has only a decorative function. If you want to save resources or time, you cannot make it. These blocks do not need to be installed, we will make the muzzle a level higher. I'm destroying these blocks because the barrel of the tank needs to be made a little higher. Put long blocks on the remaining blocks. As we can see, after building the muzzle of our tank, it's like the shell fell through the floor a little bit. That's why that time I said to wait with the installation of the shell. Now that we have made the muzzles, we can safely install the shell. Install the explosive stuffing of the shell. Now you can put the top of the turret. Engines and projectile activation lever. The small motor on top is the flight stabilizer. Install the rotary engines for our turret. The rotation lever is installed on any convenient place, but not on the projectile. Now the turret of the tank is able to rotate even while driving without changing the direction of movement. This will help to aim and release projectiles in the right direction. At the same time, the base with wheels will not rotate. Install the wheels on the base of the tank. Most of them also have mainly decorative function, but they still give a little strength to the tank. 
cushioning the impact on obstacles. Sometimes game pessonages and animals can move your buildings if they bump into them. Installation of wheels is one of the last steps in the construction of the tank. You can put them as you like to make them as similar as possible to the tracks of the tank. It's best to start building on level ground, because once the wheels are installed, the construction will not move to the side, but will remain stationary. And also, tilting to the side can prevent the installation of the projectile. Small wheels simply because large wheels don't fit there. On the base, install the main engines and the lever to activate them. It is better to install as many motors as possible, but keeping symmetry. Okay, here we go. He can freely drive on small obstacles. The turret only rotates one way, otherwise it would be much more costly to build. But this does not prevent you from aiming at a target on either side. However, the tank will not survive such a collision. This is how the turret rotation looks from the side. First, the tank will destroy a small house. Now it will destroy this big house. And now we'll use the tank as a battering ram or torpedo. And if you want to make an airplane that can turn while flying and carry the whole crew, you'll definitely be interested in this video. Enjoy the view. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I would appreciate your likes and subscriptions.